Josh Walensky, our nursing home restricted honoree, is formerly a city college and Astoria located college art teacher created by Russian immigrants. He was also a bookseller at City College for many years and a street bookseller. He was a WBAI radio show host of the City College radio show, The Dream Deferred. Eminem TV show host for community te television in, uh, in which I was a guest on housing issues for over 18 hours and with Talbot, Donna, Pamela, Edie, and Stephen on environmental shows about the Hudson River, River Sloop Clearwater and about fracking. Josh also hosted the t TV show Not jo Just Blacks and Jews in Conversation, a creation of Judge Shannon Taylor. Josh would want a slight political sp statement pertinent to this area as New Yorkers are everything about their sense of place. So I want the, the group to know Senators Marisol Alcantara of District 31 in Manhattan, Jesse Hamilton of District 20 in Central Brooklyn, Diane Savino of District 23 Staten Island in Brooklyn, Tony Avella of District 11 Queens, Jeff Klein, District 34 Bronx, David Valeski, District 53 Ondaga, David Carlucci, District 38 Rockland, and Jose Peralta, District 13 Queens of the Senate Independent Caucus, Democrat, excuse me, of the Senate Independent De Democratic Caucus have shut down the government in Albany. So that there has been about a four-year democratic majority, the IDC has prevented progressive legislation and made many a Democrat disgusted. I note that less than three weeks ago, Senator Daniel Squadron, a brilliant legislator, quit the New York Senate in disgust because of the traitors to progressive politics. His replacement will be chosen by a county committee vote, partially of the Lower East Side, Williamsburg, Greenpoint, and Borum Hill, with possible candidates Assemblywoman Brian Kavanaugh, Dis Assemblyman D Brian Kavanaugh, sorry, District Leader Paul Newell, my friend and um, college classmate and former city councilman Alan J. Gerson, possibly state sen former state senator Marty Connor, who represented this area for a while, Lincoln Wrestler, a de Blasio aide and a former D Brooklyn district leader, is now lobbying aggressively for the nomination, along with David Yasky, a former Brooklyn councilman and commissioner of the Taxi Limousine Commission, who is currently dean of Pace University Law School. Whichever of these six politicians winds up being the state senator has their hands full, with the job ahead of them of ending grid lock to accomplish word worthy legislation. ID senator, IDC senators function as infiltrators, using Democratic Party funding and voter support to win, then they're turning their allegiance to the Republicans. It's a bait and switch. ID senators offered co-sponsor the very legislation they helped to kill, thus claiming their force support for progressive ideas and saying the voters misunderstood. Their betrayal of the Democratic Party has handed the majority to the Republicans, although that is not what was decided by the electorate. Meanwhile, they are denying Democratic Senator Andrew Cousins what should be her role as the first black female majority leader of the New York State Senate. Health care, education funding, reproductive choice, prison reform, election reform, and many other issues get passed year after year in the Assembly only to die in the New York State Senate. Thank you very much.